All right, so today I wanted to show you all something that somebody sent to me that I think is really, really cool. It's a board view software that somebody came up with. And this is, this is kind of humbling, like the fact that this thing got coded because somebody was watching my videos and noticed that I use a piece of crap piece of software in all of these videos. So they thought that they would make something that's better. I just want to give credit to the individual that came up with this and also show you what it is they did. And I'm going to try to do that without revealing anything on my screen that I shouldn't be. Excellent. Beautiful. Okay, so you see I have a little bit of bro science open over there, but otherwise. Anyway, so this is, it's late, Chloridite, Chloridite, Chloridite software. And before I show you this, I guess I should show you the board view software that Eh, fuck it. You've seen it enough in my videos. You know how shitty that board view software is. So I'm going to play this. Look at this. Look at this shit. It looks like mine, but look. It auto-completes as you type a signal in. It just, you drag around and that, you don't have to do that Pac-Man shit. And when it finds you the signal, when it finds you the signal, you don't have, it doesn't like take you off of the screen. The regular board view software, here watch, I, I gotta bring it up just so that you can see. I'll do, where is my shit, bullshit board view software? So to show you the crap that I'm used to dealing with, here I'll open a similar motherboard. Cat, are you trying to get into my broccoli? She's trying to break into my Whole Foods bag. She wants in my broccoli. I didn't know that you were a vegan, Blackberry. I thought you were a carnivore. But if you'd like to become a vegan, instead of feeding you tonight, I'll just give you some broccoli since you seem so keen on breaking into my bag. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought, girl. You don't want to be a vegan, do you, kitty? You're not a vegan. You're a carnivore. Anyway. So, same thing here, sys, one wire. Okay, go figure, it's not gonna take me off of the board because I'm, um, let's see. Well, it's not gonna do it because I'm trying to show you, but you guys know how much this software sucks. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna do it because I'm trying to do it in a video. Anyway, you guys have watched enough of my videos to get the point that this board view software is bullshit. So let's go back here and let's go back to watching this dude's video. Look, look at the zooming. Look at how, look at how sexy the zooming is. Look at how it shows you every single pin of the connector. Look at how it auto completes. Oh, it's smooth. It's as smooth as my kitty's fur. It shows you the individual pins so you don't have to click in the bottom left, look in the bottom left corner. This is beautiful, beautiful software. I am impressed. This is amazing. Seriously, this is fucking amazing. And to be honest with you, as cool as I thought this is, the, I was actually surprised at how I felt when I first saw this. Because the first way that I felt was depressed. It was the same feeling of depression that I remember feeling when I was about 17 or 18 years old. And I remember Roy Hendrickson coming down and taking out the, this book, because they used to have schematics in books back then. He took out the schematic, which is literally a book for the console to try to figure out why there was crosstalk in it. And I remember looking at this and just thinking to myself, I could study this for 20 years and I'm never going to understand what a single one of those little pictures means. And it was just this feeling of like, of crushing. It's like, this is what I want to do with my life. And I have no idea how to accomplish any, I have no idea what any of the little, little things mean. And obviously that probably seems ridiculous to my viewers now because I've clearly, I've clearly uh, exhibited, what's the word I'm looking for here? I have clearly, I've clearly demonstrated that I have the capability to figure all of this stuff out without having it really explained to me. And like looking back on that feeling, like I realize that you can figure these things out in small chunks 
And I feel like I've done that. And I like the fact that I'm helping a lot of the people who watch this channel who feel the same way I do, who feel that same crushing feeling of, I will never figure this out. They watch the channel and then they realize that they can figure it out on their own. And I feel that I've felt that way about programming. It's something I've talked about. It's something that I've like, I wanted to do when I was five and six years old. And I put time in. I didn't have the best, you know, household growing up. So it wasn't really a place that was conducive, especially when I got around to six years old. Use it for like, you know, analytical thinking and problem solving in a calm environment. So I kind of dropped it and I was getting really good at it. I remember making this math test that would, it would either give you a really happy answer or a really bad answer, depending on how far off your answer was. Uh, it was just, it was a cool little thing, uh, at least for a five or a six year old to put together in basic. And I've been trying to learn, let's say PHP and a little bit of C. And I, I'm, I'm like five months in and I can't even get the fucking dice to roll or the coin to flip or any of that shit. And it's like, I'm just looking, standing here looking at this like, how the fuck do you put together a program in one day that just fit, that, that, that does all, the, all these things? It's just, I don't know. Anyway, it's, it, that's, that's totally irrelevant to the video. This is a really fucking cool program, but like it actually makes me wonder. I mean, like how many years would it take me to be good enough to be able to accomplish what this guy did in a day inside of a year? And it's just like with every one of these videos, I see my memory getting like a little shittier, a little shittier, a little shittier. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, could I even reach the programming goal that I had when I was six years old as a 27 year old? Probably not. Anyway, um, off to depressing crap, but this is a really cool program. I just wanted to credit this person because I see that this shit has seven views on YouTube and three of them are mine. Which is a crime. This program deserves millions and millions of views. And this person deserves a lot of credit for designing somebody that was, that was just genuinely awesome. I mean, it's, it's GPU accelerated. This is cool. I get to kill my already dead graphics card at work. But still, seriously, this is awesome. Thank you very much for taking the time to make this. Seriously, thank you for taking the time to actually make this. I am humbled to have actually inspired somebody else to do something productive like this. And it just... Yeah, that, that, that's really all I have to say on that. And, oh, okay, Blackberry. Would you like your broccoli dinner or your wellness dinner? Oh, this kitty does not want a broccoli dinner. This kitty wants a wellness dinner. Yeah, so now you're going to suck up to get that wellness dinner, aren't you? Aren't you, you little carnivore?